Hi guys, it's Patrick here from Resonators. Welcome to Road to Sadari 2022, episode 5. We're pretty much going to get there very soon. Um, obviously, you're here for one reason and one reason only. You're here for the face mask update. I know I've left it a few days late. I generally did a video. I recorded it to upload on the day. And then I realised I missed out the key factors of what I was meant to talk about. So I was like, crap. So I had to delete that video. I could have updated at the end, but I ended up doing one of my rambling videos. So the face mask rule, I'm just going to get it over and done with. Upload this, and then you guys will be happy. So basically what the rule is, the face mask rule is not scrapped in total. Don't think it is scrapped in total. Don't think, oh, that's it, because it's not. There's key things you're going to have to remember. You're still going to have to seat your face masks for public transport, hospitals, Hospitals, hospital, yeah, hospitals, hospitals, <laughs> hospitals, and um, like you obviously your medical centres, care homes, everything like that. If you do know people out there and stuff, and you do need to go to a visit a care home, so I'll repeat it again: public transport, hospitals, and obviously care homes. Anything, obviously public transport, bus, taxi. And the general thing is that I don't know is I know that it's lifted in England with like on aeroplanes. I don't know if you when you land in Greece, you have to put your face mask on on the plane. Or if you're doing like a flight from, say, Athens to Corfu, I generally don't know. Because obviously, if it's a Greek airline, you might have to have the face mask on then. I don't know that maybe someone can help out in the comments if that's the case. But yeah, this rule now, these rules that it is, is in place now till the end of August. Then it will be reviewed. I generally don't know if they're going to review it more earlier, but the thing is about this channel is that I'm very up to date with the news. We try to keep up to the date with the news. Um, if there's anything that's urgent, I will upload pretty much straight away, depending on what I'm doing and where I'm at. I will try my best to get that news out to you guys. So that's why it's worth subscribing and hitting the notification bell, because I do try my best to update everyone. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything I want to add to that, uh, to this video. Face mask rules done, but yeah, there is actually uh, passports. Check your passports. This is one of the things. If you guys are watching these videos, is that you're you, you're doing your research, which is a good start. And um, <clears throat> I'm gonna put the link in the description so you can check your passport to make sure it's in date. If you've got the nice blue passport, you're pretty much sound. If you've got the old fashioned burgundy one, is it a burgundy color? For the UK, this obviously only applies to, I think, Eng it applies to England and Northern Ireland as well. Um, obviously, they've changed the rule. They changed it last year. Um, and basically, if your passport has so much time left on it, your passport won't be accepted in European Union countries. Brexit, thank you for that. So, um, yeah, so basically, your passport after so long now. So I think you only get like nine and a half years on a 10-year passport, which is ridiculous. Um, and obviously even with the new passports, I don't even think they're even applying that to it. Hopefully they do because you're paying for a 10 year passport and you're losing probably three to six months on it, which is ridiculous. But yeah, I'm going to post that link and basically you can check your passports. If you do have problems, um, and it's like, obviously the suggestion would be to get in touch with the passport office. Um, because obviously I'm reading and being told there's up to a 10 week delay on passports because everyone's rushing out and doing it because obviously during lockdown, no one thought, oh, you know what I think about it, I'll, I'll redo my passport. It's <clears throat> it's why it makes me laugh with the English culture. We leave everything till the very last minute a lot of the time. And this is why we're having this thing with the passports. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, guys, I'm trying to think, trying to think, trying to think, trying to think. Yeah, if there's any questions or anything like that about Sadari, Corfu, um, <clears throat> anything you want me to try and figure out if I can answer, put below in the description. Or, you, nevertheless, you can reach out to me on Facebook. That The page link is in the description. And I'm going to leave it at that. So, guys, I'm just going to say I've been Patrick. This has been Wrestling Nerds. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye.